Hi everybody, Simon here from a very cold, wet, rainy UK. Rain on the roof, not airplanes, that's good. Solomon's Tales, a few questions come in, let's answer those first. Solomon, at this point, was carrying his passport all the time in his pocket and money most of the time. But that last night, he had money stashed. He could have woken up with no one in his bed and all that gone very possibly so there was no safe at this time and also the names people are asking a little bit of confusion this point Solomon's Tales is before his friend Simon is a bar manager this is before all that and the night before when he was in the bamboo bar three girls joined him at the table knock knock an apple and yes whoever that subscriber was Good joke, knock knock who's there, Apple, yeah, loved it. So there was knock the athletic girl in the athletic clothes. That later is Simon's bar, is Kirby. And Apple is the girl that works in Simon's bar. So Solomon had just met the famous, infamous, famous Apple and Kirby. But the other knock was the girl that returned with Solomon to his room. So I hope that cleared up a few things. <laughs> For those of you, that is, that haven't been watching all of the Solomon's Tales, so go back and watch them. We rejoin the action. Solomon has gone back to bed, crashed, he'd been drinking vodka Red Bull. Uh, the Red Bull, as I mentioned, in Thailand you can buy the original Red Bull, but then there's these little bottles. One is called M150. The locals call it M Roy Hassip or Lippo. And they're very strong equivalents to Red Bull. Somebody did tell me they're about three times the strength. And those Red Bulls react with your body in different ways. Very good, those Red Bulls. Solomon's fast asleep. Hours later, could have been loads of hours later, um, he's woken. Both the girls have woke up. Now, at this point, Solomon didn't know Nock and Ning were friends. But he woke up to hear them talking and thought, oh, but they were laughing and chatting. So he's a bit confused. Turns out Nock is one of Ning's uh, girls who lives in the same room as Ning. Ning shares a room down the road with three other girls. Yeah. So this girl Nock, Ning had actually set it up and set Solomon up. She'd said a few days before that you need a girlfriend, you want a girlfriend. She'd actually set this up. How she orchestrated it, I don't know, but how did she know Solomon was going to be in the bamboo bar? Was she following it? Don't know. But anyway, so Solomon's stirring. These are chatting away. Not gets up. And this is the first time he's really seen Nock in daylight. You know, and not full of vodka. And she gets up completely naked and he's like, ah, she's a pretty girl. Shapely, pretty girl. She gets up, heads to the shower. Then Ning slides across while she jumps up on her knees and in Solomon's face. And remember, he's still fast asleep. And she, blatant, comes out with it. Um, you like knock? Good, uh... Good aerobics teacher. Now Solomon, as I say, fast asleep. So he pulls a face because he was partly drunk. He pulls a face and sort of, mm, and then before he can say, actually we drank a lot of vodka and, and so it's the wrong time to have uh, aerobics lessons. But before he could say that, he just pulled the face. She's like, ah, up she jumps off into the shower, bathroom. 
lots of talking, blah, 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 and it was sort of a little bit heated by the sounds of it. Anyway, that went on for a few minutes, and then out came Nock, got dressed, smiled at Solomon, waved her phone at him and said, you know, call me. Exit, sharp right, out the door. Hmm. Now, then Ning's pulling Solomon's uh, leg. I <laughs> get it. Excuse the pun. Shower. And he's like, oh. And oh, he flicks the covers and he's naked. Anyway, he's just like, whatever. Heads to the shower. Ning comes round, pushes him into the shower. And at this point, the unexpected happens. And Solomon, many years later, has fond memories of this 24 hour period. Um, as probably a lot of men do at some point in the past, that what if, what if I'd done this? You know, memories, a strange thing. Have a go. She pushed him into the shower, um, which was still running. They hadn't turned it off when Nock had finished. Still running, pushed him in. Ten seconds later, she comes into the shower as well. And then, um, for some reason, decides that uh, it's time for Solomon to have um, more aerobic lessons, uh, maybe more advanced lessons. Anyway, shower, bed, shower, bed. A little while later, with Solomon with a huge smile on his face, um, and Ning get dressed. And Ning says, I'm hungry, food. Now, Solomon, he's not looking for a girlfriend really, a wife. That knock, she wasn't wife material. Just something didn't click. She hadn't asked for money. And Solomon's starting to analyse, trying to analyse what is going on with some of these girls. He's coming to the conclusion, he's learning that guys, foreigners are coming to Asia. They're going around bars, clubs, restaurants, hotels, whatever. They're meeting a girl. Quite often, could be a girl working in a bar who's a barmaid, or a DJ, or just the service girl bringing drinks. Uh, not necessarily girls that are aerobics instructors and selling their services as teachers. So it could be these girls' service. And Simon's thinking, so guys are coming over, they're dating these girls, they're falling for them. And they've got to go back home. They've got to go back home for work and make money. But don't take the girls with them. So a lot of these foreigners decide that they would like that girl to leave their job. They don't want those girls in that environment, whether the girls said they don't like it or whatever. And the guys will send them money to stop working in that environment. And maybe either go back to their family or just to relax in that area. Now this is frozen. She's got a foreigner who sends her money. Not a lot of money, but it's enough for her to live, pay for her room and food and things. But she did have a Thai boyfriend, so that's naughty. Ning was the same. She had the foreigner sending her money, good money. And um, she was, apart from what she was doing with Solomon, was loyal to him, which was really good. And this is what was messing with Solomon's mind. He didn't want to be uh, messing around with a girl that's involved. So that was pulling at his heartstrings a bit. Um, but it seems to be quite a lot of these girls. And this knock later we found out off Ning again was the same. She wasn't, she used to work in a bar uh, and she did work as an aerobics uh, teacher. But she had a foreigner sending her money. And these girls had, they were missing something. 
because they weren't going to work and having their friends at work and killing all that time at work and then spare time because they had spare time all day long some of them were going astray with other guys some of them were getting Thai boyfriends some were playing cards and doing that sort of thing all sorts of things that because they're bored and nothing to do throughout every day and every night um, but it's, Solomon's realizing there's quite a few of these girls about and uh, Ning seems to be the ringleader and knows all of them anyway he's trying to he can't get his head round it all food so they're dressed how they go they walk around the corner there's some Thai food not far away breakfast it must be late morning coming up for lunchtime and they go off and get food and Solomon he's woken up wide awake Ning's seems happy and Solomon then says come on Ning we were not supposed to be getting involved you know you have boyfriend this is not right but it was fantastic <laughs> and Ning said well what wrong with Nock and Solomon's like she's not as beautiful as you I mean you are beautiful and fabulous in every respect it, none of these girls are like you but you are with a man so um, you know I don't want a girlfriend I'm here to try and find if it's possible to work in Asia you know but occasionally I don't mind a part-time girlfriend and then he says did you fix that last night and Ning's like yeah 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 and I have more friends and he's like oh god he says okay 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 <laughs> and she says i not seen my boyfriend for uh, three four months I'm a woman I also like <laughs> to have a little bit of fun so that's why morning and not no good so I make you happy I'm like, oh, god. He's like, what a lucky guy what a lucky guy um, and he's got some good friends being in Ning and Frozen. Very strange how they start opening up to him. It's because he's living right in the middle of this bar area with all these bars and all these girls living in the rooms. That they sort of, maybe they're just accepting him as a local, even though he's uh, completely white skin. <laughs> he's a foreigner, obviously. Different build to the Thai guys. But they're getting familiar with Solomon around, so yeah, opening up to him. So for you guys that actually want all that, you can now go and find it. You know how. <laughs> Dear. Anyway, so I get third lunchtime. Is it it's a few more days before that one pool competition? There's nothing happening before then. Um some of the contest pool, uh, pool contests I haven't told you about that Simon's gone in he's lost completely so you know that he has lost quite a few his money is he's still he's living off the pool money he's lucky he's not touching his capital which is good you know he's got a few bob in the bank three months it's probably just about three months it's time for update his visa and go and get a, another month stamp so again, if you haven't watched the previous ones, 15 years ago, you could have a month stamp when you landed in the country, tourist visa, for 30 days. You then go to immigration, get a 30-day extension. Then you had to leave the country, walk out, walk back in, start the process again, rinse and repeat. So he's got about another three, another four weeks before he's got to leave the country again. Um, so that's in his mind. It's always a worry when you're there with the visas and things in your back in mind so he's got that to do and he's also got to get uh, his license back frozen so Ning says that she's going to head off home means more sleep anyway he gets on the phone and thinks I'm going to get frozen he gets hold of frozen she's around he says I need to get my driving license and she said yeah I've sort of sort of sort he said I've got to go to immigration she says I'll go get license see you immigration I'll come see you mm -hmm. okay 
So he heads off down, immigration. Straightforward, gets his stamp, fills the forms out, pays the money, and comes out, little cafe outside next to the woman that's doing photocopies and photos and things for foreigners, helping with their visas. He gets out there, gets a soft drink, and uh, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes later, Frozen turns up. She got his license. 200 baht she paid. She just walked in, paid money, come back. Don't know. Fine paid. She gives him his license, tells him, and he is the money. Bang. So it's not long before he's, he's had some breakfast, and Frozen's like, I want food. And he's like, oh, no, Thai women eat all the time. And he's like, okay, I not want food, but I'll have coffee. So they head up to the top of the soy, up onto the second road, stop more food. He just drinks coffee. And he tells Frozen what had happened. Oh, we're going a bit over time. Never mind. He tells Frozen what had happened the night before, the whole story, and Frozen just laughed. And she said, Ning, really good girl. She said, uh, but some of Ning's friends are not so good. Crazy women. And he's like, oh dear. He says, maybe Ning's going to find me more girlfriends, crazy women then. And like, Frozen, yeah, yeah. And then Frozen said, your room's no good. Too many girls about. And if it, Solomon's thinking, hang on, you're like a mother to me now. Frozen said, go back, see boss, get a new room, better room. Uh, safer room, you know. And he's like, that's not a bad idea. Anyway, we will leave it there. Next one, maybe he's going to get a new room. But he's got all those girls in the rooms around him that he's not got friendly with, really. <laughs> Hasn't parted with them. He should have a party, shouldn't he? Yeah. He could do with um, sorting a Thai bank account out as well. See you soon. Bye.